Hey everyone, it's Lee at My Productive Mac again, talking to you today about how to import and index files into DevonThink on your Mac. Now there's lots of ways of getting files into DevonThink and I'm gonna cover the most common and easiest ones here. So first we've got the good old import command. Now for this, I need to be in the location where I'd like the file to land. So let's just go for the inbox, then up to file, import, and you'll see we've got lots of different import options here. Now, everything that is below files and folders is not going to be covered here. If you want to know more about those, then go and play because I've never needed to use them myself. Files and folders is in the main where it's at. So I'll select, then a finder window opens and it's simply a case of selecting the file or files indeed if you press command while selecting. Now I just want to import one. It's going to be this DevonThink manual here. So I'll click open. And there it is, sitting at the top of the inbox there. And down in the reading pane, I can see the contents of the file. Now I can drag it to another group or database as I wish and just drop it. And there it is. Now it's important to note that when a file is imported, it doesn't remove it from the source location. So if I go back to Finder, we can see that it's still sitting there in my documents folder. So that's the import menu command. Now another way of importing is through the good old drag and drop. And that really is as simple as dragging and dropping into place within an open DevonThink window if you've got the real estate to have two windows open. And there it is there. Now go back to Finder. And as said, the original is still there. We've just put a copy of the file into DevonThink. Now as an alternative to that, if you don't want to keep the original file in the source location, then press Command when dragging. And if I go back now into Finder, we can see that it's deleted the original. Next, we can index the file by dragging and dropping. Now, indexing is different to importing because when you index a file, it's just like you're creating an alias to the original file. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if I press Option and Command whilst dragging, we've created an index of the file. And I know this because of this little icon sitting here to the right of the file name. Now, if I make a change to this file in DevonThink, then the change is replicated to the source file because they are essentially one and the same thing. So this instance here in DevonThink is merely pointing to the original file on Mac OS. So I'll switch across. And of course, the file is still there because they are the same file. Now I'm not going to manipulate the PDF contents itself, but if I just rename this file, I'll put an S on the end there, then come up to File and select Update Indexed Items. If I go back into Finder now, we can see the file name has changed there as well. Now I've just paused and enabled the dock there because, surprise, surprise, you can drag the file over the dock icon. And this will drop the file into the default location that you've set for importing files, which is currently the inbox. But I will show you how to change that location later. The next way to drag and drop items is using the sorter in the menu bar. So just drag over the top and you can manually select a destination group. So let's just check that that's taken OK. And yep, there it is. Okay, let's take another look at indexing now because remembering to use option commands and dragging and dropping can be a pain to remember. So you can also index files using the file, index files and folders command here. Now I'm going to index this text file here. I'll just press space to quick look and see what's currently in there and not a lot. Now if I click open, that file has now been indexed and I can see the index icon there again at the end. Okay, let's just amend this note here in line within DevonThink. Then I'll switch across to Finder, do a quick look on that file again, and I can see the change has taken. So sometimes you're going to want to import files if you want to have your own copies in Dev and think that you can manipulate and do as you please with. However, if you want to just use aliases and have the benefits of the Dev and think organizational features, such as smart rules, whilst keeping your source files external to Dev and think, then indexing is the way to go. For the remaining import elements that we're going to discuss, it's important to have some add-ons installed. Now to do this, go to DevonThink 3 up here and install add-ons. The PDF services will add some save options to PDFs when you work with them. So for example, when you print a PDF, there will be an option to print to DevonThink and therefore save it directly there. Additional scripts will install folder actions, which we're gonna be using very shortly as well as script menu extras and some Apple Mail rules. Abbey Fine Reader OCR will allow DevonThink to execute optical character recognition on files and make your images and PDF searchable. There's an Apple Mail plugin to allow you to auto archive your mailboxes. 
which I may look at in another video because I've archived my mail since around 2014 here to Devon Think and it works really well. And finally, at the bottom, one of the most important add-ons is having the global inbox present in save dialogues. And again, I'm going to show you that shortly. I'm just gonna click install to add all of these. And they're all added, there were no errors there. So that global inbox that I mentioned is here. I'm gonna drag and move it to the top here because it's my most used save location. I like having it at the top. And now you can drop files into this inbox and after a brief pause, the file is transferred to your global inbox in DevonThink. So I'll just show you how that works. This accounts file I'll drag across and there is my inbox. So I'll just wait and it's gone over to DevonThink. And it's sitting at the top of the inbox, pretty cool. Next, we're going to automatically import files into DevonThink, OCR them and make them searchable before deleting them from their source using a script. Now we installed these scripts just now and it's very simple to set up. So I've created this holding folder here. And what I wanna happen is anything that gets dropped in here, I want it to be imported into DevonThink, get OCR'd and then get deleted. So I'm gonna right click, come down to services and folder action setup. I need to confirm that I want to run the service, so I'll do that. And a list of available scripts is here. And because I installed that earlier add-on, there are some DevonThink ones sitting in here, so I can import only. I can import and delete. Import to a selected group. I can import OCR and delete the file. And I can index as well from a script, so I can indeed just index or index to a selected group. So I'm gonna go for import OCR and delete. I can see that both sides here have ticks, so they're almost ready to go. I just need to check the box here to enable folder actions. I'll click OK here, and we're good to go. So let's close this up. And this PDF here is an invoice, so I'll just do a quick look on there. It's just a very boring template, but it's got the company name and the customer name there. Now they are not in the name of the file, so when this has had that script run, I should be able to search for the contents in DevonThink like by the customer name or something because the file will have been OCR'd. So let's see, I'm gonna drop it into the holding folder. I'll click okay because DevonThink wants to be controlled by the folder action dispatcher. Now, because this is the first time I've run this action, that's why we're gonna have this and I dare say some more. And just expand this, we can see it go. Now the DevonThink OCR helper needs access to the documents folder. So again, this only happens once, I'll click okay. And now DevonThink 3 itself needs access. And sure enough, there it goes. And it is up here in DevonThink. So I'll click it. It's the same file. And if you see the file type, it's now a PDF and text document. That means that it's been OCR and should be searchable. I'm just gonna move it somewhere else. I'm gonna move it into the imported files group so it's not in the inbox. And from here in the context of the inbox, I'm gonna search for customer A. And there is my result. And it's highlighted in the body of the file as well. I can see the search term there. And there is the new location of it. So automating the import of files by scripts is super simple. The last method for importing that I'm gonna show you today is importing from a physical scanner itself. This will change dependent on the type of scanner that you use. Now what I'll show you here is a Fujitsu scan snap device. And the one I have is an S1300i. And I use the ScanSnap home software. However, most software is going to be similar when it comes to getting files into DevonThink. However, if you use ScanSnap home, then this is how to do it. So first of all, I'm going to open the software. I'll just cancel this update. I'll run it when the video is done. And what I need to do is I need to add the DevonThink application as a target for these scans. Now to do that, I'll go into preferences and application, click add or remove and I need to browse for the app. Okay, so where's DevonThink 3? There it is. I'll click open, and then I'll choose a display name. So DevonThink, and then click OK and exit. And the app should be now added as a target. So I'll close this, and there's only one way to verify this, and that's to scan a sheet. So I'm just putting a sheet into the scanner now, and it's running the scan. Okay, I just paused there while it completed. Now this is the window that has appeared where I need to choose a location for the scan and there is DevonThink at the end. So I'll just accept these notifications here. And there is my scan preview, I'll give it a name. Press enter. And my scan is imported, it's fully searchable and little effort was required. 
Now there are just a few settings that you can tweak for the import of files. So I'm in the DevonThink preferences here in the files tab and the default behavior is for new imported files to go straight into the inbox. However, you can check this here, which will then prompt you for a location every time a file is indeed imported. Now, if you're only doing two or three files, maybe a day, then this isn't too intrusive. If you are importing a lot of files, you're probably not going to want to be interrupted every single time you try and import one. So for that, it may be a good idea to just put everything in the inbox and then process it at a time of your choosing. Then if I switch across to OCR, you can change what incoming scans are converted to. Are they going to be searchable PDFs or do you want them converted to RTF documents, Word documents or web archives, as well as into comments or annotations? You can move the original document straight to the trash as well as compress the PDF here as well. And if you want to have a standard for the PDF resolution, then click this drop down and you can set the DPI as you like. So that is how to import and index files into DevonThink, both on your machine and physically scanning them in. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos on DevonThink as well as other applications, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.